the all kinds of things is not just a coincidence. I think there is a reason and there is a plan. And I think there is a God. Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Okay, so Ramadan is over and that means my first Ramadan for a month is over too. Yeah, it was long, but it was short too. Yeah, on the first day it was really hard and it feels really long, but but it's very short when it finished. So I can eat the daytime, but it feels a little bit awkward that I can eat something in daytime. Anyway, uh, today I will talk about how I felt during Ramadan. Yeah, so many people ask me this. Uh, and especially how I felt about the fasting. <laughs> I think I should tell you that why did I start fasting at first, right? So maybe there is a video. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm really successful. Okay, so there were three main reasons. First, to understand Muslims better. And second, to get the physical and mental benefits. And the last, to abandon negative thoughts and become better person. Yeah. Oh, that was good listen to. Well, actually, I think I got them all. I learned the patience and I could understand the poor people. And I really realized the importance of foods and water, especially water. And I also changed my bad eating habits a lot. And I really tried to throw away my negative thoughts. So it's really helpful to mental way too. So there were a lot of benefits. Yeah, but there is more than that. I started fasting for personal benefits, but there was more. There was more than that. I really feel that there is something more, something I cannot explain. So I was really curious, though, what is the feeling? Where is it from? I think I cannot explain well, but I've met a lot of great people and I got a lot of beautiful experience meeting best Muslim friends and I invited adorable Muslim family. I also invited Korean Muslim community. I learned a lot and especially I met you guys through the YouTube. So I think the all kinds of things is not just a coincidence. I think there is a reason and there is a plan and I think there is a God. Actually, I've never thought about talking about Islam and Muslim people and I really could not think about fasting in Ramadan because I have no idea about fasting and Ramadan but I did it even for a month and I did it well. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself but if there is not something then I couldn't do it. The main reason that Muslim people do fast it's because Allah wants that. Allah commands that. Even though I didn't intend this, Allah led me here and He helped me that I could do it, even for a month. So now I realize that the everything I experienced is kind of journey to Allah. So it means He made me follow His command. Then everything I can explain. He helped me to go the right path. There was a reason, there was a plan, like a signal, and that is from Allah. It feels like a huge and beautiful gift to move on the right path in this journey of life. Yeah, I really think that. Oh, and one more thing. There's a very shocking verse reading the Quran. Chapter 2, verse 1, 8, 3 and 4 and 5. It's about Ramadan. You who have believed decreed upon you with fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. Yeah, that is about Ramadan. And then directly the verse 186 is that. And when my servant asks you, Muhammad, concerning me, indeed I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me. So let them respond to me and believe in me that they may be rightly guided. If you believe Allah, He will guide you to the right path. It's in the Quran, just directly after the Ramadan verses. It's really a surprise. It's really a surprise. It's amazing. I think this is not a coincidence, like a fate and miracles. I guess many Muslims have experienced these miracles and I'm so happy I'm one of them. 
I have got a lot of benefits through the fasting, but you know, it's just lizard of fasting. What is the really important thing is I'm going to the right path and following the God's command. That's important. Of course, I started fasting as a challenge at first, but yeah, it was not a challenge. I found something, thanks God. Yeah, I used to use this word a lot, thanks God, but this time I really thanks God. So I hope I don't stop this journey to find the right path. Of course, I can make a lot of mistakes, but I don't worry. Now I know he's helping me. Yeah. And at the last, thank you so much for being together with my journey. If you were not there, I would never come here. Seriously. Okay, so I'm done. So happy Eid and Eid Mubarak and take care, be safe and mashallah. Annyeong. Pyong.